That's my next question. I suppose your immediate priority now is to, to get some more fitness in the tank and, yeah. and get up to fit where you feel you need to be. Yeah, um, well, through my social media and stuff, you know, people can see that I've been, you know, trying to keep fit as much as possible, but it's not the same. It's, it's really not the same. You know, there's some days where, you know, you can be really, really enthusiastic, you know, training and stuff on your own. But then there's some days where, you know, it, it is, it's, it's difficult, you know, to motivate yourself as much. But, you know, I had a great trainer in America with me, um, Nick Hollander. He was training me, you know, three times a day over there. Then I came back over to England, you know, and I had another trainer. And Missy's got a personal training, you know, place over there. So they really helped me. My brother really helped me as well. We were putting on, like, sessions and stuff together. Um, so, yeah, so I've tried, you know, to keep us... Fit as fit as I possibly can, but you know when I spoke to the gaffer on the phone, he said first thing he said is, uh, "I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna have you." He said, "I'm gonna have you," and I, I was like, "Why?" And he was like, "I'm gonna flog it, you know, to get me really fit." But you know, I'm at a point in my career where you know, I need to do it. You know, I really, really need to do. It. I feel like if I can really, really be fit, then I can really, really, you know, show week in, week out what I'm supposed to do. You know, maybe in the past. I might not have, you know, concentrated on it as much as I probably should have. Or there'll be times where, you know, I might get a niggly injury and then it, it'll derail you a little bit. But, you know, now, coming to this, this age now, I feel like, um, you know, this is, this is the time to, you know, really, really concentrate, um, really, really get my head down, really, really do all the right things inside, outside of football you know, to make sure that I'm available, you know, for selection each and every week. And, you know, when available for selection, the minimum requirement, you know, is to try as hard as I can. So, so they're the things I don't mind. I don't mind doing all the fitness work and all this kind of stuff. I, I, I need to do it. And I think as a whole, that's the minimum the gaffer, you know, demands as well. So I need to be ready for that. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that too. And just finally, you come into a very, very well-supported club. Yeah. How much are you looking forward to feeding off the passion of these fans? Yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, again, I was speaking to some of the players um, today, which I know, I know like Jack, Jermaine, um, Stephen and all these kind of guys, and they were telling me how similar, well, Jack and Stephen were saying how similar it is, you know, to like the Everton kind of sport, like when they really want to get behind, like when they're really behind you, the place, you know, will be rocking. And, you know, when I was back at Everton, whenever the fans are with you, it really does, you know, get you over the line. And it really does get the best performances out of people. So, and I've, I've been, I've been, you know, against Sunderland, I've played against them and it is quite, you know, an intimidating place, you know, when they, you know, are getting really behind the, the players. So it's, you know, it's going to be really good. I, I'm looking forward, you know, to getting out there. And, um, you know, hopefully I can do well. Yeah.